Hey, creative minds. Guess who's back? It's your boy, Simpson Walker, Johnny Walker, 2038. Guess what? Our partners at Wondershare Filmora, they laced us with the new, new Filmora 11. Oh my gosh. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make it disappear. I know you guys had some rough holidays and you want to make yourself just disappear sometimes. I got you. We're going to be using Filmora, Wondershare, Filmora 11. All right, we're going to go ahead and dive into this. Now, we're going to need two videos. We're going to need a two videos with a static camera of the same video one with no subject on the actual couch this is going to be our end result the disappearing part so i want to go ahead and uh, i didn't use a static picture because i wanted to make sure i had all the correct shadows that happened inside this video because there's some action that's going on, on the other side that you can't see so we're going to keep that there of course i play everything back at half speed wow you still can go ahead and uh render it at the regular quality now bring down the subject video. Now the subject video has the green screen attached to a blanket. Action. And this is how we're gonna get our disappearing effect. We're gonna use some chroma key here. So this is what it looks like without the magic effect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and find a nice piece, a nice little section where I can go ahead and slice this top video. I'm gonna use two effects. I'm gonna use the chroma key and I'm actually gonna use an image mask to hide out portions of the video that I do not want to be revealed so that I can have the desired look. We're gonna click right here, select this video. I'm gonna to go to the effects. Now, these are some beautiful effects and uh, we're a Filmora 11 now that's just amazing. I'm gonna do some uh, tutorials on that. Right now, I'm looking for the image mask. Drop that over our first clip and we're gonna double click on here so that we can see what we've done. Now here's another new feature. You actually have an effects tab at the top here. So all your effects are right here. You don't have to scroll all the way down to the bottom like we used to. And I'm gonna choose a shape. You can choose any shape. The shape I'm gonna choose here is gonna be this flag looking shape right here. Like now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it. Well, let me invert the mask first. And then I am going to adjust the height, the width, the X and the Y axis of this to create a small enough space just to hide what I want to hide inside of this video. Okay, we're gonna slide it around. Now, as you can see, that space is revealing the video that's underneath, which is the same video. This is why you need to have this static shot. You need to shoot it on a tripod. Uh, it would be too hard to do it handheld. It'd be too shaky and it just won't look right. So we're gonna adjust this. This takes a little time sometimes. It's taking me a little longer, but we got this. I want to make sure that there's absolutely zero green showing, but I do want to leave enough blanket to make it look authentic. This is my goal. I want to make sure that there's no green showing, but I do have enough blanket to make it look authentic. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. I'm a perfectionist. I think I'm going to tweak it a little bit more. Maybe I should stop. Maybe I should stop. I don't know. Maybe I should stop. No, I got to get rid of the green. There we go. Move this a tad bit. Move it back. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's looking okay. I, I can live with that. I know once I add my, um, my LUTs to get the desired color that I'm going to use, everything's going to blend and it won't stand out. It's standing out right now because we just did it. So you know it but it's not gonna look that bad once we go ahead and um, finalize and render the final project. But like I said, I'm a tad bit anal about this, so I'm gonna do it again. Mm -hmm. My spidey senses are telling me to stop. But I'm not Spider-Man. So here we go. I like that. We're gonna go to the next one. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the chroma key. Click that out. And we're gonna use the offset to make sure that we get and blend this as well as possible. That's gonna be our final look right there. So we want that to look good. It looks good. I like it. I like it. I like it. And we're gonna take this back. I'm gonna hit play. And just kind of see how that transition happens. I want to get some nice bam, 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 bam. Oh my. back to this mask again I am tripping on the mask I have no idea why
sure that it's correct at the transition. It's going to happen fast. And most people won't be looking at that area. Except if you're a filmmaker, then of course you're going to want to see the magic, how the magic happens. But you just want to that shit. I'm going to go with that. Let's set it to the top. Hit play. And, and action. Voila. The disappearing child. You want to get away during the holidays? I got you. This is easy. It's very easy inside of here. I mentioned before we do have some LUTs. There's so many LUTs inside of Samora. This is the greatest program if you really want to give your film and your footage that, that quality look. If you want to take it to a different place to really control the colors. This is an amazing program to do it with. Um, I'm going to use just a couple of basic ones. I'm just going to go to the LUT. And I'm going to use this two right here. go we're gonna use this light teal teal and orange is all you need in your life then of course we're gonna use this blue cool we're gonna bring it down just a little bit to smooth it out and that's gonna help everything blend nice and neat and let's hit play on this and, and action video is amazing now of course you know what we do we always add some effects Little sound effects to make it seem right, and that's what we're gonna do right now. I'll play the final cut for you. Has anybody seen Olivia? Olivia, <laughs> Olivia, where are you? Where are you? <gasps> okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, share the video, baby. Stay in the loop. Have a great, happy new year. Can't wait to talk to you again.